Hello, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless us. Welcome to day six of MFM's Pray Your Way into 2023 program. Day six. We've got one more day to round up this program. Amen. Father, we thank you for strengthening us, for upholding us throughout this program. Thank you, Lord God, for your constant love, your constant care, your mercy. Thank you, Lord God, for the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for your dominion power. My destiny, our destinies, receive dominion power in Jesus' name. Heavens over our prayers today, open, open by fire in Jesus' name. Heavens over 2023, open by fire, open by fire, open by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is, I connect to divine dominion power. Amen. We connect to divine dominion power and we take dominion over our lives and over 2023 in Jesus' name. Amen. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 28, it is written, And God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over everything that moveth, every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So God gave us dominion over everything upon the earth. Amen. And then in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, it is written, Behold, I have given you authority, I have given you power, I have given you dominion to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, for divine dominion power in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the joy, for the peace and the strength that you give us daily. We take dominion over this day in Jesus' name. Every evil word programmed against my star, against your star in the heavenlies of 2023 shall not be established in Jesus' name. We program the will of God for our lives into this day and into 2023 in Jesus' name. We command all of creation to favor us this day and to favor us every day in 2023 and beyond in Jesus' name. Let's bless the name of the Lord God who has all dominion power. Let's bless the name of the Lord God who has all the power the omnipotent God, the Lord God who defeats our enemies, the Lord God who defeats the giants, the scorpions, and the serpents in our lives in Jesus' name. Let's praise him. Let's worship him. He is the mighty man in battle who has never lost a battle. He is Jehovah, the man of war. Open your mouth. Lift up your voice in praise. Praise him. Worship him. Give all glory and praise to the Lord God who fights our battles, who makes the impossible possible, who makes a way where there is no way. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Worship him. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be praised. And he's worthy to be magnified. Thank you, Lord God for everything you do for us daily. Thank you for your love, for your care, for your mercy. Lord, we love you. We adore you. We glorify you. And we magnify you, Lord God, for who you are. In Jesus' name, we've praised him and we've thanked him. Amen. Let us repent and confess our sins. In the first book of John, chapter 1, verse 9, it is written, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We want the Lord to forgive us. We want to be cleansed of all unrighteousness. Unrighteousness is an abomination. God is a holy God and cannot behold abomination. So let's ask the Lord to forgive us of our sin, our iniquity. Lord, show us your mercy. Show us your compassion. Remove our sin. Remove our iniquity as far away from us as the east is from the west. Let the blood of Jesus wash us. Let the blood of Jesus wash the stain of sin, the stain of iniquity away from our lives. And Lord, we also forgive those who've sinned against us. Anyone against whom we're holding offense, 
anyone against whom we're holding a grudge, we go ahead and we forgive them and we release them from our spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us cover ourselves and our families with the blood of Jesus. I soak my body, my soul, my spirit, and that of my family members in the blood of Jesus. We soak our homes, our place of work, our place of worship, and our modes of transportation with the blood of Jesus. Every place where our feet trod, we saturate it in the blood of Jesus. Covenant blood of Jesus, cover us. Passover blood of Jesus, cover us, we pray. In Jesus' name, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. Amen. For those who are praying with us and don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, if you want to connect to divine dominion power, you do need to make Jesus your friend. Perhaps you want to rededicate your life to him? Repeat after me, please. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I repent for my sins and I invite you into my heart, into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Congratulations. Your name is now written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We pray that the Holy Spirit overshadows you and remains your constant guide in Jesus' name. Let us also pray for the unsavings in our families and in our communities who have yet to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Lord, we pray that you open their eyes, open their hearts, so that they accept you as their Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. Let's go ahead and worship the Lord in song. Praise Him. Celebrate Him. Sing your favorite song of worship. Sing your favorite song of praise in Jesus' name. Amen. For you are God. For
your name. Amen. Next is our scripture reading and for today it's taken from the first book of Samuel chapter 17. Read along with us please. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word. Thank you Jesus. Amen. Chapter 17. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle and were gathered together at Shocho which belongeth to Judah and pitched between Shocho and Azekah in Aphes Damim. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath whose height was six cubits in a span. And he had an helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head weighed six hundred shekels of iron. And one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your battle in array? Am not I a Philistine, and ye servants to Saul? Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me, and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him, and kill him, then shall ye be our servants, and serve us. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man, that we may fight together. 
When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of that Ephrathite of Bethlehem Judah, whose name was Jesse. And he had eight sons, and the man went among them for an old man in the days of Saul. And the three eldest sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Eliab the firstborn, and next unto him Abinadab and the third Shammah. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. And the Philistine drew near morning and evening, and presented himself forty days. And Jesse said unto David his son, Take now for thy brethren an ephah of this parched corn, and these ten loaves, and run to the camp to thy brethren, and carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and look how thy brethren fare, and take their pledge. Now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And David rose up early in the morning, and left the sheep with the keeper, and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench, as the host was going forth to the fight, and shouted for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage, and ran into the army, and came and saluted his brethren. And he talked with them. Behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him, and were sore afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that is come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches, and will give him his daughter, and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine, that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him after this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that killeth him. And Eliab his eldest brother heard when he spake unto the men, and Eliab's anger was kindled against David, and he said, Why camest thou down hither, and with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride, and the naughtiness of thine heart, for thou art come down, that thou mightest see the battle. And David said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another, and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, The Lord hath delivered me out of the paw of the lion, and out of the paw of the bear. He will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put an helmet of brass upon his head. Also he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. And he took his staff in his hand, and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had, even in a scrip, and his sling was in his hand. And he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistine came on, and drew near unto David, and the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth, and ruddy, and of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. 
This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass, when the Philistine arose, and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted, and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag, and took thence a stone, and slang it, and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling, and with a stone, and smote the Philistine, and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran, and stood upon the Philistine, and took his sword, and drew it out of the sheath thereof, and slew him, and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines, until they come to the valley and to the gates of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistines fell down by the way to Shearaim, even unto Gath and unto Ekron. And the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistines, and they spoiled their tents. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem, but he put his armor in his tent. And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. And the king said, Inquire thou whose son the stripling is. And as David returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son art thou, thou young man? And David answered, I am the son of thy servant Jesse the Bethlehemite. Amen. Power from God on high to destroy every Goliath in our lives. Come upon us, come upon us, come upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. Our scripture confession is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Amen. We are more than conquerors in Jesus' name. Yes. Next is our hymn, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. Amen.
of my enemies be scattered. Let all arise of my enemies be scattered. Let all arise of my enemies be scattered. Let In Jesus' name, amen. We praise you, Father, for being trustworthy and helping your own. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, Father, for being trustworthy and helping your own. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you, Father, for being trustworthy and helping your own. In the name of Jesus, Father, we praise you. We praise you, Father, for being trustworthy and helping your own. In the name of Jesus, Father, we praise you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you for being trustworthy and helping your own. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We praise you, Father. For being our strength and fortress of salvation. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, Father, for being our strength and fortress of salvation. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, Father. We praise you. We give you praise, Father, for being our strength and fortress of salvation. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, Father. We give you praise. We give you praise, Father, for being our strength and fortress of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm chapter 18, verse 2 tells us that the Lord is our rock, our fortress, and our deliverer. Amen. Let's go ahead and praise him. We give you praise, Father. We give you praise, Father, for being our strength, for being our fortress of salvation. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the habitation of evil planners be turned upside down in the name of Jesus. Let the habitation of evil planners be turned upside down in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, let the habitation of evil planners be turned upside down, be turned upside down, be turned upside down in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, let the habitation of evil planners be turned upside down in the name of Jesus. Every habitation of cruelty be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every habitation of cruelty, every habitation of evil planners be turned upside down be turned upside down in the name of Jesus let the habitation of evil planners be turned upside down by fire in the name of Jesus amen I smash serpentine heads reared against me into pieces in the name of Jesus 
I smashed serpentine heads rid against me into pieces in the name of Jesus. I smash every serpentine head. I smash. I take the hammer of God and I smash. I smash. I smash serpentine heads rid against me into pieces in the name of Jesus. Rock of ages. Smash every serpentine head rid against me and my family members into pieces in the name of Jesus. Fire of God. Rock of ages. Smash. Smash. Smash serpentine heads reared against my family members and I into pieces in the name of Jesus. The Lord gave us dominion over serpents and scorpions in the name of Jesus. We take the hammer of God and we smash every serpentine head reared against us and our families into pieces in the name of Jesus. Amen. I break every evil hold on my breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, I break every evil hold on my breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, I break, I break, I break by fire every evil hold on my breakthroughs and the breakthroughs of my family members. In the name of Jesus, I break, I break, I break by fire, I break by force, I break by thunder. Every evil hold on my breakthroughs and on the breakthroughs of my family members in the name of Jesus. I break, I break, I take the hammer of God and I break, I break, I break by fire. Every evil hold on my breakthroughs, every evil hold on the breakthroughs of my family members in the name of Jesus. I break every hold on our breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Amen. I paralyze. Every anti-breakthrough strategy in the name of Jesus. I paralyze every anti-breakthrough strategy in the name of Jesus. I paralyze, I paralyze, I paralyze by the blood of Jesus. Every anti-breakthrough strategy in the name of Jesus. I paralyze, I destroy every anti-breakthrough strategy in the name of Jesus, I paralyze, I paralyze, I paralyze by fire. I paralyze by the blood of Jesus. Every anti-breakthrough strategy in the name of Jesus. Every anti-breakthrough strategy, every strategy of failure at the edge of breakthrough will not manifest in our lives. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every anti-breakthrough strategy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I scatter all forces encamping against me in the name of Jesus. I scatter all forces encamping against me in the name of Jesus. I scatter, I scatter, I scatter by fire all forces encamping against my family and I in the name of Jesus. I scatter, I scatter, I scatter by fire all forces and capping against my family members and I in the name of Jesus. The Lord said that he will cause the enemies that come against us one way to scatter before us seven ways in the name of Jesus. Therefore, we stand in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 and we decree all forces and camping against our family members and I to scatter seven ways by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. I paralyze every instrument of oppression fashioned against me in the name of Jesus. I paralyze every instrument of oppression fashioned against me in the name of Jesus. I paralyze, I paralyze, I paralyze every instrument of oppression fashion against my family members and I in the name of Jesus. I paralyze by fire. I paralyze by the word of God every instrument of oppression fashion against my family members and I in the name of Jesus. Every instrument of oppression fashion against my family and I will not prosper in the name of Jesus. I paralyze, I destroy, I break every instrument of oppression fashion against my family and I in the name of Jesus. I paralyze every instrument of oppression fashion against my family members and I in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of pains and sorrows be bound in the name of Jesus. 
spirits of pains and sorrows be bound in the name of Jesus. Spirit of pain, spirit of sorrow, spirit of crying, weeping, and sadness be bound, be bound, be bound in the name of Jesus. Spirit of pain, spirit of sorrow, spirit of sadness, weeping, and crying be bound, be bound, be bound with heart chains and fetters of God that cannot be broken and be cast into the lake of fire for all eternity in the name of Jesus. Spirit of pain, Spirit of sorrow, spirit of sadness and weeping, be bound, be bound, be bound by fire in the name of Jesus. Spirit of pains and sorrows, be bound by fire and be cast into the lake of fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let all caged glories be released in the name of Jesus. Let all caged glories be released. In the name of Jesus, let all caged glories be released, be released, be released. In the name of Jesus, let all caged glories be released, be released, be released by the blood of Jesus. Be released, be released, be released by the blood of Jesus. All caged glories be released, be released, be released in the name of Jesus. Be released, be released, be released in the name of Jesus. My caged glory, the caged glories of my family members be released, be released, be released by the blood of Jesus. Be released, be released, be released by the blood of Jesus. Jesus, every captivity assigned against my glory, every captivity assigned against the glory of my family members, be released, be broken, be released in the name of Jesus. All cage glories be released, be released by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. All spirit lions delegated against me be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit lions delegated against me be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed in the name of Jesus all spirit lions delegated against me delegated against my family members be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus all spirit lions delegated against me delegated against my family members be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed in the name of Jesus be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed in the name of Jesus be paralyzed in the name of Jesus all spirit lions delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed in the name of Jesus amen all spirit serpents delegated against me be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit serpents delegated against me be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit serpents delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit serpents delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all spirit serpents delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Every spirit serpent delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed by fire, be paralyzed by the blood of Jesus, be paralyzed by the word of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, it is written, Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So, God has given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and nothing shall hurt us in Jesus' name. All spirit scorpions delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed by fire in the name of Jesus. All spirit scorpions delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit scorpions delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Amen. All spirit dragons delegated against me 
be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit dragons delegated against me be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit dragons delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit dragons delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit dragons delegated against my family members and I be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. All spirit dragons delegated it against my family members and I be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed by fire be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen 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 thank you Jesus amen let us read our confessions out loud God has chosen me and ordained me that I should go forth and bring a lasting fruit. As a new creation, I am set free through Jesus from the power of the enemy. I have been saved by grace through faith in the name of Jesus. I have the grace to walk through every temptation without sinning. I am set free from emotional bruises blows to my identity through Jesus in the name of Jesus. I have both spiritual and physical healing through the stripes of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I am able to walk in the light as a child of light. I am a fellow citizen with other saints in the household of God in the name of Jesus. I find my strength in Christ when I am weak. I will not be afraid of what man can do to me because I trust in the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am washed, sanctified, and justified by the name of Jesus and the Spirit of God. Since I am born of God, I have overcome the world. I have victory over the world through my faith in the name of Jesus. I know that I am a disciple of Jesus because I love others. I have forgiveness for my sins. I am more than a conqueror through God that loves me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let us pray for our general overseer, Dr. D.K. Olukoya. We thank God for his life, for the life of his precious wife and the lives of their children. We soak them in the blood of Jesus and we surround them with the fire of the Holy Ghost. We decree that it is well with them, their family and their ministry in the name of Jesus, they will not faint, nor will they grow weary in their divine assignment. In Jesus' name, my Father, my God, let your hand of grace, let your hand of mercy upon them never depart. In Jesus' name, every spirit serpent, every spirit scorpion, every spirit dragon delegated against our general overseer, his family, and his ministry, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed by fire. In Jesus' name, O oh Lord, you said that you'll build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We soak our prayers, we soak the answers to our prayers and our testimonies in the blood of Jesus. We decree no evil carryover into 2023. Any power of darkness standing at the gate of 2023 to destroy our breakthroughs, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit overshadow us, Holy Spirit overshadow us, Holy Spirit overshadow us in Jesus' name. God of Elijah, turn us into fire. God of Elijah, turn us into fire. God of Elijah, turn us into fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us say the grace in fellowship. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Three glorious hallelujahs for a wonderful 2022 and an even more wonderful 2023 in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 amen. Thank you for praying with us today. Do join us tomorrow for day seven, which is the last day of this Pray Your Way into 2023 program. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name, and God bless us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Build, but I'm not